What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Let's break down the Buccaneers sixth round pick, Coquefe, today. 6'5, 265, all of a blocking tight end. And is he going to have hands? Maybe, but you're just not going to see it in this film study, guys. Uh, <laughs> Coquefe, 6'5, 265 plus. What's he going to bring to the Buccaneers? Uh, physical mini Ryan Jensen, I think you could call him. I mean, he's just, I mean, you watch him here, number 42, he finishes throughout the play. And that's what I love about him. Just no nonsense, all out effort, physical blocker that can really be a, a force in the run game. Yeah. So you're looking at almost like your fifth or sixth offensive lineman here. I mean, so your sixth offensive lineman, a spare guy, like look at him literally devour guys. And finish, like you're saying, finishing the play and just saying, if you're in front of me, I'm going to block you. You're going to go down to the ground, all effort, all the time, and just execution. What do you like there? Right. I mean, here, you know, coming in, in line, you know, he's just his ability to just take people off <laughs> off his off their feet, pretty much. I mean, uh, so like I said, just he, he reminds me of a, a mini Ryan Jensen where, I mean, just big dude that can come up and, and hit you and he's going to hit you right in the mouth every time. What's crazy, I mean, look at the guy he's on. It's not like it's a smaller linebacker or safety. He's actually devouring defensive ends. Like, true bigger guys are probably bigger than him, stronger than him. Doesn't matter. Leverage, like, technique, he's just winning with that. Now, a smaller guy, what's he going to do with him? He's going to throw him down to the ground. <laughs> Literally tackle him. What do you like? Uh, again, yeah, at 6'5", I mean, he's going to overpower dudes with, you know, who are smaller than him. Uh, and he does a great job with finding leverage. Uh, his technique overall is pretty good. You know, doesn't get too high. Uh, uses his weight and legs uh, very, very well. As you see here, just using his arms, rotating that defender out and pretty much setting up the hole for the running back. So you see the footwork here where he's able to get his arms right where they need to be extended, lets the defensive end come in a little bit and then turns that guy around. What's crazy is this play is literally designed for him. I mean, look at everyone else. Going downhill, he's the only one going this way. So they wanted that seal right there. That's literally their trust they have in this guy to block the edge and get upfield. All you had to do is have the running back make this one man miss in the in the box and get upfield. That's awesome. That's huge trust in your player and knowing the capability of what this tight end can do. And now this brings it on to the Buccaneers and goal line situations as well. Like times where can you do just enough to pick up Three feet, one yard. Can you do it? We have guys at Coquif. Yeah, I'm going to say more, more than likely you're going to get it. Yeah, like you were saying, I mean, it, it, you're, it's just repeat on tape. I mean, he just does a great job with his leverage. I mean, just destroying people off the ball. And it's really fun to have a player like this because he's going to help you not only in uh, rundowns, but also in pass protection. But obviously, just bringing that physical attitude to your team. And also, he can be a force on special teams do a lot of different things uh, to help help out uh, the Buccaneers as he's, you know, getting started here. I see him pulling. Initially, you just saw him manning up, pushing forward. No, now you're going to see how much can he be mobile in space and still execute these blocks. Yes, he can. And a lot of this isn't just hustle, physicality, form. Look at him getting low, getting low to engage into this player and push him off the spot so his running back can get a hole. Again, driven by him. This is them by drawing this up. Get my tight end in space, seal here and seal there equals a big hole for my running back. And, hey, it, it looks good in college. I know it's all just blocking. How's a guy who's going to make a team based off of blocking? Hey, our tight ends don't really catch the ball unless his name is Gronkowski. So you got to block. And this guy knows how to do it in space, mano, mano a mano. He can just do it all around. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it. I think it's a big aspect that, you know, for the Buccaneers, what they've been missing is just a little bit more physicality from their tight ends, a guy that can be a true technician in the blocking game. And obviously that's what they're getting with Coquif. And it's just really nice to see. I mean, again, now here in pass protection where he can be mobile enough to, you know, move around and, and, and help out the quarterback to have enough time here to, you know, deliver this pass. So just overall, I mean, he's got the good foundation for what it takes to be a core, you know, member of your football team. This is something we touched on in our live stream. I mean, how many times do you see Gronkowski get held back because our offensive line wasn't doing well or because it was hurt? He had to stay back and block. Now Gronk can be used more as a receiver because now you got big guys like Coquif, Kate Otten as well that they drafted in the fourth round 
that can block, that can stay in there and help out in the in the blocking because they can, they're bigger, and they're more meant to do this. And look at the hustle here, getting down the field too. Touch on that. Absolutely. I mean, the effort is going to be undeniable. And, you know, the Bucks love to run a lot of receiver screens. Well, you can see this guy, you know, out in the forefront to help with that. So it's just really nice. Um, now here more in line, helping with the pass protection, um, as you're going to see him go up against number eight. Le you know, lets up a little leverage there, but does a good enough job of just holding on enough. And again, it's good form, good technique. Uh, gets a little overextended there, but still, I mean, this is a good foundation to build from. Overall, Coquive, hell of a player to root for. A guy that's going to give you nonstop motor mentality you want in your rooms. I mean, I can already tell he's going to be a fan favorite. But guys, let us know what you think of Coquive. Uh, hit that like button if you really liked it. Subscribe if you haven't just yet. Comment down below. What do you think of Coquive? Is he going to make the team? And with that said, until the next one.